All right, I got a transmission for an MTD bump nose tractor. Uh, I had another transmission I didn't need. It's for a wheel horse, so I traded it to a, a place I work where we have lots and lots of these 2300 series peerless. Um, there was a lot of them there, but this is the one that has the narrower, uh, basically wheels or axles, where it's kind of it's not as wide as the most versions. Um, this transmission was buried in the mud, and it had water in it like all of them do, and it was seized up, but it was, even if it needed work, it was still parts trans, and I needed the parts trans, but, everything is extremely, extremely rusted, I mean, I, when I tried to get the wheel hubs off, it pulled the axles right out, so probably the little snap rings are either rusted, or I don't think the grooves are too bad, but anyway, it'll, all the teeth on this actually look much, I mean the teeth on this are great, they're not chipped and wore down like on the transmission I just rebuilt, even the reverse gear looks good. Yes, lots and lots of heavy, heavy freaking rust, so it's going to have pits in it, but the gears are actually really nice teeth on them. I got this shaft in here. I got to get the brake off so I can get that out. The input bearing is actually the ball bearing one is blown apart so the shaft looks kind of like but some new seals, a few new bearings. Hoping I can just clean some of them up. If not, I'll just put new ones in. Don't matter. But <clears throat> at least all the teeth are good. Very little noticeable wear at all. This thing. Holy shit. But that's what I needed. It has the shorter axles because you know, when you see these, this piece is spaced further out. And uh, these are longer. They don't have the bearings. They have the bushings in them. But this is actually from a bump nose. So that's cool. And I also got the, another set of hubs. That one's got a broken off bolt. I'll get that out later. Um, yeah, but trying to get the hubs out or off and then the axle shot out. It's like, oh well. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just, a, it's in good shape. I actually got a, rebuilt the one and I actually ordered a couple sets of shift rails. Which are these, so I can reduce some of the transmissions I already have. Because mine, they're so damn worn out, they ain't staying in the gear. They're just sliding all over the place. But... You know, and it's, it's not bad. It really ain't. Yes, rust does weaken metal, but eh. Oh well, that's what it is. So, I'm happy with it. I mean, I got this MTD here. This is a Ward's version with the sideways 11 horse uh, Briggs. Or no, 10 horse. Uh, but you can see these ones are, these ones are wider. And most of the ones at the junkyard are wider, and the old bump nose MTD is kind of narrow. So, anyway, get this thing all cleaned up, rebuild it, sand her all down, prime, and put a nice coat of new black paint on it. Just like I did with the other one. Something about this one, though. The one I just did only had four bolts. This one's got like, is that eight? Eight bolts in this one? Hmm. But it's still, it's not the limited slip differential. It's still the uh, little two pinion one, but. Ugh. Anyway, it ain't too bad. I can deal with it. It's about what the other one was. The other one cleaned up pretty good. Little pits, but the gears on that sucker were really very noticeably poor. Uh, but they weren't. They're not terrible, but it's like, you know, I, I kind of want to have an extra trans, so if I got to rebuild that one sometime down the line, I can. But the one tractor I'm using currently keeps, keeps popping out of gear. It's really awful, so. The one I got done, I'm actually going to pop it open again one more time, put new shift rails in it, and then put it back together and put that under the tractor I'm currently using. And the one in the transmission that's currently, or the tractor that's, the trans is in the tractor I'm currently using. I'm going to rip that one apart and rebuild that. And then this one here 
this one will get rebuilt. So it's always good to have extras when you have an older tractor. That way, if it breaks, you just flop another one in and rebuild the other one when you get time. Uh, all right, blue fox out.